what's up guys welcome back to delicious dishes my name is chef aiden and today we'll be making some seven layer dip let's get into it so for your ingredients you're going to need purple onion diced bell pepper diced corn mexican cheese tomato diced sour cream refried beans water roasted cumin, taco seasoning, garlic powder, and extra virgin olive oil. So first we're going to need to actually cook the refried beans using our roasted cumin, our garlic powder, water, refried beans, and our extra virgin olive oil. So we're here at my stove and I'm going to start by heating up my pot. I'm gonna give it about like 20 seconds. Then I'm going to pour in my extra virgin olive oil. And after another 20, 30 seconds or so, I'm gonna put in my roasted cumin so that I can see if it is hot because once the oil is hot, these will look like they're gonna start swimming around and just moving around a little bit and then I'll know it's time to put in my other ingredients. Okay, and now I'm going to take my olive oil and pour in my two teaspoons. One, two, there we go. So I'm just gonna let that all get spread all around. There we go. Now, since I'm doing a teaspoon of my roasted cumin, I'm only going to do a little bit of it. I'm gonna take the whole teaspoon, but I'm gonna take a pinch out of there and just put that in. Okay, they're moving around, so now I can just put the rest of that in. And see, as you can see, a bunch of them are just kind of swimming around, it looks like. Now, I've gotta put all my beans in. There we go, that's a lot calmer. So then I'm going to pour in my water. And this kind of helps just make the beans a little smoother and the consistency that I need. So I can stir all of it around until it doesn't look like there's any water left. Let's put the rest of that water in. There we go, that looks better. And now I'm going to put in my taco seasoning and garlic powder next. So I've got my taco seasoning already measured out. Pour that all around. And we still got a little left. I just want to mix it well. And at this point, kind of mix it a little. And then also you want to just fold it around a little bit. And put the rest in. Okay, this is looking next pretty well. So now I'm going to put in my garlic. Okay, and now this all looks mixed in. Everything seems to be the right consistency. Now we'll see you back at the counter where we'll layer everything up. Okay, so it's time to layer everything up. So I think I'm gonna go in this order. Okay, so this is the order we're going to be doing. Beans on the bottom, cheese on the top. So let's scoop this. The great thing about this dish is you don't have to use all of each ingredient. If you like things more heavily loaded, you can use all of them or even more. If you like things not as loaded, you can use less. Now I'm just gonna scoop a bunch of this on and spread it out. Okay, so now I'm just gonna smooth it all out and try to get everything even and then I can see if I like more or less. And the good thing about using a glass uh, container is so that you can see how thick your layers are and how thick you want them to be. And then try to make it look as flat as possible so that for the next layer, we can also make that one look flat and then make all of them look flat and nice and neat. There we go. This is looking good. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more in the corners here and then we should be good. I know it looks super messy on the outside right now, but I'm just going to take a paper towel and then I can just kind of put my finger and wipe it all off just to make it look 
as flat and neat as possible. There we go. Then I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit because it's still a little hot and I don't want the next layer to melt. But once it cools down, we'll put the next layer on. So I've let this cool down a little bit and now it's time to put on my sour cream. So I'm gonna take my spoon and then try to layer it on as evenly as possible. I'm probably gonna end up using the whole thing for this ingredient because it's so thin. It drizzles around everywhere. Try this out and let me know how it turns out in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.